So whenever I'm confronted with a question like this, I just try to kind of spitball and get started in a direction where I can then start to figure stuff out from there. So we've got these terms and we're adding them together. And the names of the terms are a sub one, that's the first term, a sub two, that's the second term, a sub n, that's the last term. And each of these is either a seven or a 77. And we know that the sum of them adds up to 350. And we're, we, what we're trying to figure out is how many different terms are there in the sequence? Because a sub n represents the last term, so the n represents how many terms there would be, just like the two represents this is the second term. So what I want to imagine is what if these were all sevens? Well, then I would be able to represent this as seven n equals 350. Because if each term is worth seven, then seven times whatever, however many terms there are, is gonna equal the total. So the total number of terms here would be 50 because seven times 50 is 350. So if you add seven together 50 times, you get 350. Notice that this isn't that far off from our answer choices. So now the question is, if I wanna swap a seven for a 77, how many sevens do I have to remove to introduce a 77? Well, I'd have to remove 11 sevens to add 177, which means I would end up at 40. And so 40 is another possible value for n, and that is available to us as answer choice C. So I just did this with a little bit of trial and error, thinking about swapping in different numbers. Um, I think that this is probably the best way to go. Just looking at the numbers that you have, look at your answer choices, try to figure out the scale of what you're dealing with. And uh, seeing that 350 is a nice even multiple of seven, which it would have to be uh, because we're adding sevens and 77s, which are a multiple of seven, um, thinking about how to, how to break that down and just go from there. Um, you don't always need a plan. A lot of times just spitballing and figuring out what could work will lead you in the right direction on this test.